we were having this conversation about like, do we need punishment in order to get justice, right? And that's the conversation that she was having when she was in her childhood home. Like my brother urged me to forgive. And I don't think forgiveness and justice are like correlated at all, right? Forgiveness is something that you do for yourself so you can move forward, right? Sometimes it feels good as a person who has caused harm to hear another person say that I forgive you, but forgiveness has nothing to do with meeting each other's needs, right? When we're talking about Michael, um, the visionary leader of this revolution, he was envisioning a world without Fedra being an oppressive force and having a community thriving. How, what are the needs of that community? So safety from infected, right? Food, water, hygiene in some way, shape or form, medicine, right? None of that, none of those needs are met by like going and murdering a teenager and his eight year old, um, his eight year old brother, right? So like, let that go, forgive, not for their sake, forgive for your sake, get justice for your people, take care of your people. Um, and if you're not able to do that, you know, everyone's gonna die in, in the way that they did. Um, and, but we think about that in lots of different situations. Of course, in this case, Kathleen is someone who's very deeply hurt by her brother being murdered and she identifies Henry as the cause of that. But if we zoom out, right, like Henry didn't kill her brother, yeah. Fedra did, right? Henry was someone who was operating um, under an oppressive system and made a choice that was self-interested because he was trying to protect his brother. You know, you talked about saviorism, paternalism, and like we can critique Henry's choice in that moment, but he was not the reason that Michael is dead. Fedra yeah. is like whatever system that Fedra uh, or what whoever was like at the point of the spear of Fedra, like that carried out an execution is why Michael is dead, right? And so you already took care of Fedra, right? You You took care of that. And I don't think that they necessarily did it in a way that I would have, but like, we're not arguing that point. What are the ways that you and your community can move forward? Um, justice is about getting your needs met, right? There's not a human need. And like I say need instead of desire or want for punishment, right? I know that that can feel good in a moment, right? But after Henry's dead, I'm, like that did, that's not what happened at the conclusion of this episode by Kathleen's hands anyway. But after Henry's dead, what then, right? You're not gonna have peace, right? You're always gonna be looking for that next threat of somebody who cared about Henry, who's gonna come back and get you, right? Um, the logical conclusion of that is like, you know, kill everybody who's against us, right? Or kill everyone who's not with us. And like, that's why we have these uh, communities built up the way that they are within the world of The Last of Us. But, you know, for us as people who experience harm at the hands of others on, on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Forgiveness, well, I'll say two things. One, like forgiveness is for yourself, right? I'm not someone who particularly follows Taoism, but there's the story of a master and servant and uh, master and disciple rather, who, um, and the master teaches about forgiveness by having his disciple uh, carry around a sack and fill it up every time um, somebody wrongs him, fill it up with one potato. And so as he goes throughout the week, the month, he's constantly putting potatoes in the sack. And at the end of the month, his back is really sore. He's weighed down. And the master says, like, you know, what have you learned about all this? And the disciple says, you know, carrying all of the weight of this is only hurting me. It's not hurting <laughs> the other people who have harmed me. Like I have to release this and let go. And there's another layer to that story, but for the purposes of now, I'm, I'm, I just really want to drive home, right? Like forgiveness is for yourself, right? So you can move forward in a good way. And when you think about justice, justice is about meeting the needs of yourself and your community and punishment causing more harm to somebody else just isn't a need.